Thank you. YouTube, how the fuck you doing? Hey guys, Nate Shot today. I'm bringing a brand new video. I hope you guys were all having a fantastic day. I thought this would be a great time to sit down and have a one on one with you guys because it's been so long since I've been able to do that. It's been a minute and I feel like there's been a lot of things going on in my life that I should inform you of. I just had to get a few ducks in order before I could really share a lot of the info that I'm about to in this video with you guys. But it really all started about two weeks ago because the lease for my current apartment, the one that I moved into when I first moved to LA, is actually up in about a month. So it was really at a point where I was like, am I gonna renew this lease or am I gonna look for a brand new apartment? And we're gonna talk about all that but then even after that, the Optic guys came to California for the stage one finals of the Call of Duty World League. And you guys saw that I was actually on the analysis desk for the entire weekend. And that was like Saturday and Sunday from like 6 a.m. until like 6 p.m. And then right after that, we went into what I was doing for like the really the last two weeks. And that's been looking for a new apartment. I decided that the space that I was living at really wasn't adequate for the things that I wanted to do. And there was a lot of things that you guys should know that I've learned from in the last couple of years of my life that when you get into college or, or you even get beyond college, you guys need to make sure that where you're living feels like a home. I know that sounds really silly, but you don't really think about it too much when you're younger, but as you get older, you really take that for granted because I'm at my house like 24 seven since I work from home and it's so important that you feel comfortable there and it's so important that it, it has a cozy feeling because like a, a comfortable place that you live in will give yourself like a comfortable mind and you'll be, you'll have peace of mind wherever you are in that living space. So that's really what I was focusing on. My last apartment wasn't doing for me. The lighting in there was terrible. I never saw the sun and it just really made me me feel really isolated off from the world and that was really really bad for like my mental state and it just was not something that I wanted to do for another year so we're gonna talk about the moving process because that's actually what's been taking up a bulk of my time throughout the last two weeks and I'm gonna bring in a special guest to talk about it with me Jeezy that's you come on get in here is this your good is this my good sign or who's good sign yeah this is my good sign yeah you, you, I'm too short hmm. Get down. Okay. All right. So I brought in a special guest. This is Jeezy, and she's actually been helping me with a lot of this moving process. In in your opinion, on a scale of one to ten, how difficult is it actually to move? Uh, nine point seven. Nine point seven. And what about California? Oh, impossible, actually. I'm not sure what part of the country you live in, or if you live in another part of the world that's not the United States. But LA is. So Stop it. <laughs> I like being taller than someone for a change. Living in LA is very difficult because a lot of the places here are very old. A lot of the buildings are very old. And then also they don't have like washer and dryer sometimes. They don't have AC units. And they're some just- Some don't even have heat. Some don't even have heat. And it gets chilly here. It does get chilly here. People think LA is this crazy like tropical place, but it, it gets pretty cold. Right now it's, it's actually pretty cold, but AC too is very, very important since I have all that computer equipment. So, and because you're so hot. Aw, oh, score. Yeah! <laughs> So realistically, I know you guys haven't seen a lot of videos in like the last two weeks, but really, I swear a majority of my time has been spent actually moving. It's so difficult. I had to go look at so many different properties. I had to check out so many individual units. I had to finally pick a place and then I had to go get furniture and, and, and get mattresses and, and get items for the apartment. Like you don't realize what you actually need for living in an apartment until you actually have to go buy these things for them and schedule movers. It's just been this whole ordeal. And I wanted to get it done without having to like point a camera in front of you. But now that everything's kind of come together, I'm actually at the new apartment right now. We're here. This is, this is the kitchen. I'm not gonna show you guys the whole place. The video framing is gonna stay here, but. Your first soap. My first soap. My first soap. Oh my God, what else? Can you believe what else? it? My, oh goodness. My first sponge. First sponge. My first sponge. Wow. Um, uh, oh, oh. Ooh, ooh, what? First Clorox wipe. Oh, first Clorox wipe, ooh. First battery, ooh, dishwasher look at that. Things. Dishwasher detergent. Um, We've also, we've got internet now. Wow. It's it's pretty crazy. I'm sure a lot of questions are gonna come up in this video. No, we're not living together. She's just been helping me with a lot of my stuff. Very generous. She's a very generous girl. That's why we call her Generous Jeezy. It's been, it's really been, it's been a great time. I finally have internet. So we're actually gonna turn this camera off and we're actually gonna go back to my old apartment and see if we can jam a bunch of stuff into my G-Wagon so that we can get it here and we can start making videos again. I think, I think it'll fit. 
You think, you think, you think the love sack, that huge love sack that sits in the background of my videos on my second channel is going to fit in the car. I have no idea. My method is I say we just- Like, I don't know if me and you can lift it ourselves. It's gigantic. Like, the camera won't do I it justice. I think we can, we can try. It, it, it took me and Bo literally like five minutes just to push it through one doorway. My furniture doesn't come until next Thursday. Right now it's Friday. And then my mattress doesn't come for like another week. So I'm trying to get at least like one article of furniture in here, which would be the love sack, just so I can sit in it. Because my internet got transferred over from my old place to the new place. And now I have really no way of making videos unless I get something set up here. So we're gonna figure it out. But I just wanna let you guys know that I am alive. I still plan to make YouTube videos. That's not going to change. I just really want to get this stuff done and really tackle these real life hurdles without having to worry about the camera being on me. I, I think you guys can understand that. It just made the process a little bit easier in an already hard process or situation. So thank you guys very much for understanding. But I have all my cameras here. I have internet, I have lights, and we're gonna bang out a bunch of great videos. I'm super excited. Jeezy, what about you? The first video. This is this is the first video at the new apartment. You guys are you guys are gonna get a tour very very soon. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys understand. We're back on the grind in a new place, in a new era, in a new world order of YouTube world domination or something. YouTube. We'll see you a bunch later. Bye.